what's going on everybody it's your boy c dog back at it once again with another video from exceedance gaming today guys we're doing another quick news rundown um i appreciate everybody who showed love to the last review that i did for uh spider-man miles morales real fun game uh really good time and uh yeah just gonna run down some more news you know like we normally do and um yeah big shout out to the homies at three little blurs i don't know if you guys been keeping up but definitely check us out on instagram if you haven't already and uh thank you guys so much for you know all the support this year it's been absolutely amazing um just really you know kind of giving us the the energy that we need to keep doing what we're doing here so it's been it's been a great year overall considering everything but guys if you're new hit that subscribe hit that like follow whatever you can do to support us here at the channel and thank you guys so much for watching let's get into the news First thing we're going to talk about today is uh, something that, you know, we talked about uh, previously here on the news rundown, and that is uh, the highly anticipated, beyond anticipated, <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. It finally comes out this week. We are literally two days away from being able to play this game, being able to experience everything that Night City has to offer, and guys it is it's an exciting week um i'm excited i've been waiting on this game since i i learned about it i i haven't really been diving too much into like the videos and the, the gameplay because i know it's a game that i'm gonna play i know it's a game that i want to experience top to bottom i know it's a game that i want to get lost in so um it's a it's an exciting time for gamers um twitter has been on fire this week with different things from the early reviews all the way down to just people you know just going back and forth in in the replies and comments about this game and how over over hyped it, it is to an extent like cd project red announced this the development of this game so long ago and it's just it's just kind of crazy that it's all come down to the last month of 2020 to be able to play and hear about uh you know the reviewers and their experience with it um so one of the big things this week with the early reviews is a lot of the news and media outlets have reported that the game is somewhat of a bug fest and we talked about this uh last time we mentioned how many platforms they have to support this game on so when you think about it 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 was to be expected um the bugs were going to come with a game this ambitious you just can't avoid it um i work in software development so i kind of understand the more ambitious a project is the more opportunities for uh things to get you know kind of lost in the weeds but overall from what i've heard the game is a great it's a great experience overall it's just some bugs that you'll run into that kind of take you out of it. You know, you lose immersion when things, um, you know, stutter and crash. It just kind of breaks that 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 feeling. Um, but one of the things that CD Projekt Red kind of tasked the reviewers with is playing the game on PC only. So they're playing an early build on PC and they've said that the day one console patch will be 43 gigabytes. So if you played any games this gen, you know 43 gigabytes is a huge update. So it can almost be a completely different game before that 43 gigabyte patch. So I'm excited. Um, I do plan to stream my gameplay a good bit. Um, and I want to I want to play this game. Uh, I want to do multiple playthroughs on it I want to you know find Easter eggs. I want to just kind of you know ride ride the the rest of this console generation out with cyberpunk um, I'm excited. I hope everybody else is excited and Overall, I really just hope the bugs and the news surrounding the bugs don't really you know hurt the game I'm gonna play Every, everything and hopefully by this time next week you know we can talk about it some more and really just have have a cyberpunk tuesday um super excited um the launch trailer is out so definitely check that out 
and uh yeah just let me know in the comments um what what is what is your plans for this game you plan to grab it day one are the bugs kind of taking you out of it um but overall guys just let's just get ready to enjoy this game and i hope you guys will, will be here next week to kind of nerd out and uh just talk about it some more but yeah we're gonna um we're gonna we're gonna get into cyberpunk and it's gonna be a good a good december so let's just have a little faith and uh, let's just kind of wait and see what happens with this game. And let, let's just, you know, enjoy it for what it is. So stepping away from the game and news just a little bit, kind of moving over to the uh, movie news that I kind of alluded to earlier. HBO Max and WB Pictures kind of struck a deal last week. Um, it was an announcement that kind of dropped on Twitter. They are releasing their entire 21, 2021 lineup of movies on hbo max alongside the theater releases same day for i think it was 17 movies that they plan to drop in theaters and on hbo max same day and at first at first um uh, you know first hearing about this news it was really good um i feel like it's a great thing for for the for the fans of the movies but kind of thinking about it some more over the weekend and seeing some of the backlash from it uh, this week. Um, Christopher Nolan, um, the director of the movie Tenet. If you guys, I don't know if anyone checked that movie out. I didn't get to see it yet. But Tenet was a movie that was slated to release 2020. And the movie kind of went through the blender as far as releasing in theaters during the pandemic. So I feel like with this HBO Max deal, they want to kind of get ahead of, you know, what's what's happening with the vaccine and everything and just get these movies out to to people to enjoy um it it kind of saddens me a little bit to hear some of the news about it um i actually saw uh a, an article earlier today saying that um gal gadot of uh, wonder woman you know she was she was paid a lump sum and i think the director was paid a lump sum and I, I, right now, I don't think that there is a solid um, compensation plan for the uh, producers of these movies. I kind of think it, it was just a decision, um, and they 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 kind of made it sound like it was a decision that just came from the top. And to me, that kind of sucks because if you ever work in a corporate environment, you know how it is to get hit with uh, some top down news from the suits and me right now I, I want to enjoy these movies i want them to be successful as possible but at the same time i want i want everyone who is involved with with making these movies like the, these movies are hitting like two almost 200 million dollar budgets in, at this point so to be able to kind of bypass box office ticket sales it, it's gonna it's gonna be a major hit um to someone um because you when you think about it like when it comes to movies it's not just the actors that have to be paid you know it's the directors the writers the uh producers agents there are a lot of people involved with uh working these movies and there there was actually um I forget the name of the organization. It's one of the, uh, it's like the cinema, the independent cinema alliance, I believe it is. Um, I might have to look that up later, but it, it's basically kind of like the organized, uh, like union, so to speak, of, of um, kind of filmmakers and directors and such. And they, and they have a problem with it. Um, I want to be excited for these movies. I want to watch Wonder Woman. I really want to watch Godzilla vs. Kong, Space Jam, Suicide Squad, all these movies, but I'm willing to wait. Um, if it if it is that much of a problem for the people that are making these movies, I'm willing to wait. Um, it's not gonna hurt me personally to have to wait a little bit longer. But I just felt like the idea was so cool, like to be able to have the option to you know pay for the subscription service, watch these movies at, in at the comfort of my own home. Uh, I feel like that is invaluable. And that's the thing that we kind of have to think about on both sides going forward. And I know the biggest problem with this is like the future. What what does the future hold for movies, movie releases, and uh, you know streaming services post 
pandemic. So something I'm gonna be keeping a keeping a close eye on for sure, just to um, you know see what happens. I, I really want the deal to go through, but at the same time, I want people to be compensated fairly. But we'll see. Um, this is something that I'll keep um, on my radar going forward. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, how do you feel about this? Like, do you think it was a bad decision? Do you think it was good? Um, are you willing to wait? Um, kind of, you know, open open for discussion on all of these topics. You know, and even if, you know, if if I reminded you of something else while talking about this, you're definitely free to comment and uh, kind of pick my brain a little bit. So we'll keep an eye on this HBO Max and WB deal. And uh, hopefully the future is bright for uh, filmmakers here in the U.S. The last, last bit of news for today, um, but most certainly not, not the least bit, the Game Awards 2020 is this Thursday, actually the same day as Cyberpunk releases. So it's just a huge day. It's a huge week for gaming and gamers. Um, here at Three Little Blurs, we will officially be co-streaming the event this Thursday. So definitely, if you guys are interested, definitely hit us up. Hit us up this Thursday. We'll be on my channel. That's twitch.tv uh, cxdog. Um, I will have the links to everything in, in the in the description of this video, and um, you know links, you know everywhere promotion the whole rest of the week on Three Little Blurs. Definitely check us out on Instagram at Three Little Blurs. It sounds just like it's spelled, but it's a number three. Three Little Blurs. Um, we're gonna be nerding out pretty much the whole night on um, on Thursday, so you know BYOB. We are going all out for our favorite games of the year. Um, expecting big things uh, out of The Last of Us Part Two, Ghost of Tsushima. Hope, hoping that um, some some other surprises come along as far as the reveals. That they that they normally have, but guys, definitely uh, rock with us this Thursday. We're gonna be talking about everything, um, and then uh, talk show this coming up this uh, Sunday. We're kind of gonna do our own top games, top events, top movies of the year. So it's just gonna be kind of like a best of 2020 celebration this month. Um, super excited, super happy that we were able to get. Um, a little bit of a uh, co-stream kit from uh, the Game Awards uh, staff and um, yeah just super appreciative of the opportunity to be able to you know kind of view the show and, and see and see everything so it's super exciting time for um, for everything that we talked about today for Cyberpunk hoping that HBO Max uh, does well this upcoming year and uh, we're going to cap 2020 off with you know, just celebration of everything that we enjoyed and that we loved. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely be talking about it some more. Um, just, just my, my only final thoughts going into the Game Awards is I just, I just wanted to just be a good event. Um, we didn't really get much of an E3 this year, so hopefully this can kind of fill that, fill that void. But um, outside of that, guys, I really appreciate everybody for rocking with us here at three little blurs and uh right here with me exceedance gaming we're going to continue to do what we've been doing leading up into the new year and um overall guys just need to be safe um practice social distancing uh wash your hands be careful and just you know finish the year the way that we started it let's just make it a good make it a good last last month um and overall you know i appreciate you guys i can't say that enough thank you so much for supporting us here at three little blurs and exceedance gaming and i will catch you guys in the next one peace